over 25 years, the theatrical show River Dance has been touring around the world, but the history and heritage presented within it has been around much longer. It is really quite an extravaganza. Two of the people who are bringing it to life are with us today here on 207. Maggie Darlington, Jason O'Neill. Thank you both for coming in. Great to have you here. Thank Good you. to be here. So how old were you when you started dancing? I was three years old. Three years yeah. old? How about you, Jason? I was five and I saw River Dance when I was seven. What, did, what went through your head the first time you saw it? I thought it was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. It put Ireland on the map. It made me so passionate, and from there I wanted to be a professional Irish dancer. When did you see it for the first time? I think I was like five, and I was like, I can do that. I blend that. <laughs> 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 and Maggie, you actually went to a Clata school for Irish dance, yes. which I just found out from him are schools all over the yeah, world. All over the country, all over the world. What so. is it about Irish dance? I think it's uh, the combination of the music and the steps. It's very percussive. Um, it's also very um, energetic. And I think it just captures the hearts of a lot of us. <laughs> and Jason, you danced with your six sisters, yes. I read. Yeah. Was music, dance just a part of being at home? Yeah, my household was all about music and literature and dancing. And they are five of my sisters are older than me. So they all danced. So I caught the bug. <laughs> and I became, I fell in love with it. They all quit and got regular jobs and I just pursued it all the way to the top. So. <laughs> how long have you been doing river dance? I've been river dance for about 11 years. And how many performances typically in a year? I've done about a 300 in a year. Yeah. It's, I, I don't understand, I truly don't understand why you're not on crutches or in a wheelchair. <laughs> I mean, the strain, the toll that it takes on the knees, the yeah. ankles, how do you how do it's, you keep at it? Yeah, it's very intense. We, we train like athletes. Uh, we do eight shows a week, but we have a masseuse and a physio with us. We watch what we eat and we just train. We do yoga and swimming and running, many other things to make us stronger and fitter. We don't do yoga, swimming and running, <laughs> but would you guys give us sort of an example of some Absolutely. moves? Yes, of course. Absolutely. This is the iconic river dance step. So you have your arms by your side. You start with the right stump, stump. Then we go left foot, right foot, left foot, up. Excellent. And then we go right foot, left foot, and right foot up. And then one more time, left foot, you're natural. Right foot, <laughs> left foot up. And to finish, we go jump, 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 and back. And that is like the core river dance step. Okay. Right. Yeah. Why don't we let the professionals yeah, show us what gonna, that actually looks like? We're gonna now like. let the two goobers get out of the picture <laughs> and we're gonna let these that two guys very good. show us how it's really done. Five, six, seven. Six. Oh my there gosh. we go. <laughs> you just make it look so easy and with smiles on their faces. <laughs> but actually, that's got to be challenging, isn't it? Because that's part of what you have to do is have a smile on your face while you're doing a routine that really calls for so much exertion. Yeah. How, do you, how do you attain that skill? Practice. Yeah, practice, uh, a lot of hard work, <laughs> looking in the mirror and trying to perfect it every day and then making it look easy, I suppose. Yeah. When, you, when you joined the show, what was the single hardest thing for you to master? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I think living out of a suitcase was difficult for me. <laughs> that was yeah. hard. And I think just, you know, the toll it takes on your body was so different to what I did before. I'd never done eight shows a week before. It was my first time on stage in front of all those lights and all those people. So just learning to adjust to that lifestyle is just a unique thing. A lot of people hear river dance and they just picture fast moving feet, but it's a theatrical show, yeah. especially with the 25th anniversary show. What can people expect coming to this? Yeah, oh, just great music, great energy, really, really talented dancers. There's, we have Russian dancers, we have flamenco dancers and tap dancers as well. So it's just, there's a lot of talent on that stage and we're all really excited to bring it to audiences. Yeah, this is like a, you've never seen river dance like this before with new screens, new lights. The music has been remastered. Bill Wheeler won a Grammy for it in 1997, so the music is incredible. There's a storyline weaved throughout the whole show, and it's such an exhilarating show. On a night off, do you guys go to a local club and dance? <laughs> some people keep dancing, yes. I like to relax, but some people, you know, they'll never stop dancing. Once you've got the bug for dancing, you'll just keep dancing all the time. Because I wouldn't want to be anywhere close on the dance floor next to you <laughs> no. guys. It would just be so embarrassing. No, no, <laughs> not no. at all, not at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. A real pleasure to have you guys. Thanks. We're going to practice those moves and yes. uh, see if we can attain even something close to competence in the next decade or so. <laughs> Probably won't happen. Jason, Maggie, thank you. You can find more information about River Dance's 25th anniversary show in the 207 section of our website.
and we will be right back.